Hi guys, welcome to your November 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of cancer, sun, moon, rising, and a Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good fam bams, hello to my members. Let's get started. Cancerians, I just want to let you know if you are new here with me, I want to go ahead and give you a little bit of information about how we set this up. So the first between eight to 10 minutes seems to be the script that I'm sticking to. We're going to be going into your intuitive messages um, as well as the Oracle card with Oracle cards, which I call blockages, just so you know. And then there is one clarifying card that just gives us a little bit more insight as to what blocked the flow of love between you and the person that loves you. Um, so this is still, once we get into the main energy, that main energy will be from their perspective because this is what they're not telling you. Um, and then we will go in with their romantic intentions and close you out. The romantic intentions will be... Um, given to us a uh, channeled with the romance angel oracle cards i will give you all of what i'm feeling about the cards that i have pulled and channeled in your energy but if at any time you do not want to go and listen to these intuitive messages you can always go below in the description box and you can hit cancer first card out and that'll get you to the main energy okay Cancer, with your particular energy, um, I actually am happy for us <laughs> um, because I do see change. I understand that nothing can grow and evolve without movement, which is beautiful. I do see service. I feel good when I can help others and I feel perseverance and I see perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to and then I see, okay, courage. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. Now, if this is all of the blockages, um, I already know that someone remains stagnant and the person that loved you remained stagnant in this energy and did not want to move beyond what was comfortable for them. There was also this thing that went on between you guys where you feel like they were not helping you. Um, maybe the way in which they helped others or the way in which you saw them put effort into other people, places or things. And then perseverance, um, there was this um, energy between you two where um, it was almost as if I'm giving up and I'm throwing in the towel. I can't do this, whether it be from you or them. Um, obviously, this was a fear based belief and this was things that, you know, you needed deep down inside to make yourself feel better and give you the security that you needed because you wanted to get back kind of what you put out. Um, the change is being clarified by ownership. Um, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. I love this because um, you do have overly sensitive individuals out there who takes each one of the misdeeds as, uh, you know, oh, I'm a fuck up or, you know, feeling sorry for themselves instead of looking at and taking ownership of their own change and growth um, with. And I feel like it was a lot of finger pointing you, you, you with and they held you to a standard that they didn't hold themselves to service. I do see that being clarified by satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self approval so others can no longer define who you are. There is a misconception with the person that loves you that, you know, I don't want to do too much. Or I don't want to look like a simp. Or I don't want to look. And that was so emotionally immature of them to think that way. And this kind of turned you off cancer because on the other end, you love you. You love freely. And a part of you loving as a Cancerian, it, that's what you're going to do. And no one. You don't need the self-approval from anyone to love this person. So you almost felt like, why do you need approval to do anything for me? And it caused a, a, a roof. I do see perseverance being clarified by friendliness. This roof caused you guys um, a whole lot of, um, of struggle and strife. You're able to recognize the traits in common with one another to forge a love-based connection. And you were not having that. You were extremely upset. Um, it could have been that both of you guys were in some type of dark place. Courage, finding the, the inner strength to face fear with confidence. 
is tolerance, which I love. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. And this is exactly what needed to change. Um, you and this person is definitely different. Ownership, satisfaction, friendliness, and tolerance. Uh, the huge key word here is definitely ownership. I feel as if... You know, that is probably one of the huge things that you wanted this person to do. Take emotional ownership or take ownership for the things that you've done to slow this the, the pace of this relationship down. You made me in turn not have faith and want to persevere based upon the fact that you never do anything wrong. There was a huge lack of accountability. Cause some issues, definitely. Um, and I do see Knight of Swords in the main energy, first card out. We do have the Fool, all right, the Hard Place. We do have Justice. We also have Death, beautiful energy. And we do have the Three of Cups. We also have the Queen of Cups. You are showing up in your own reading, Cancer. And giving this energy to all of this, these cards down here is the Eight of Cups. Now, before in the world is underneath it, and so is transformations. I want to show you this. I don't want you to get all, you, you know, get all bent out of shape about the fact that you see the Eight of Cups. That is the energy that is nearby, very, very, very close, okay? Under tolerance is transformation. You are able to use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. And very, very close underneath, obviously, the Eight of Cups are is my world, which is cycles ending and also further giving energy to those transformations. Now... Looking at this particular energy, I know that there has been a shitload of bad communication between you guys. There has been a lot of words that have been said that either one of you guys really meant your feelings were hurt. So you went into a place of protection. Um, but there's also this this energy between you two or this person wants you to know that they're willing to take the risk. You're always a safe bet to them. Um, but they really, in the heart of the matter, want to bring justice to the situation because they don't want you feeling those things that they made you feel. Um, they really want to transform with that deaf energy and they want to get back to having fun and get to a point of celebration with the three of cups. Um, I do feel like you are connecting with fellow water because we have such strong water here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But again, we do have the fool. We do have death. I do feel like this is going to be the end of a chapter and forging ahead into a new beautiful energy. Um, this Eight of Cups, don't fret. I feel like it's at the top lending this energy to all of this shit that needs to be transformed anyway. Let's walk away from those things. This isn't a breakup. This is stacking up those cups and pouring in the shit that no longer serves you and walking away. But what this person wants to do is transform out of that old energy anyway. And in order for you to do that properly, you do need to hang some of those old residual um, feelings on the shelf. They They don't serve you. That's exactly what needs to be done, okay? All right. Now we're going to go ahead and move into the romantic intentions. Um, I do feel like this is going to be beautiful energy. You got the fool, justice, and death. Uh, justice being in the heart matter. You can't go wrong with that. New love. So, yes, that's what they want to do. They want to move out of that old energy of the Knight of Swords, not speaking to each other correctly and taking the chance on this. I do see wedding. <sighs> Romantic feelings. The, re the feelings are real and worth exploring cancer. That's what they want to do. Death being clarified by... True love. This is the, the love of a lifetime. I love this energy for you guys. Okay. Three of Cups being clarified by it would be crazy if it was engagement. That would be or wedding, wedding reception. That would be crazy. Clarify Three of Cups and that is release your ex. I like that though. That's releasing all of this. Okay. The Three of Cups releasing the energy it doesn't say stop loving the X in this card. It says the time has come to clear your energy um, because there is chemistry here. Okay. Um, a shitload of chemistry. New love, wedding, 
romantic feelings, true love, and release your ex. The person definitely had some issues with releasing old energy. Yes, but I do feel, and we're going to go into that release your ex card. I am going to clarify it with sacred soulmates. You guys have a whole lot of love here. All right. Yes. Unresolved. Look at that. Told you. Unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritances have affected this situation. That has affected the love, the celebration, and the good time. That released your ex. Um, those past soulmates have left an imprint upon the person that loves you. The beautiful part is, is that it is coming to an end. Um, and you guys are going they're going to you guys are gonna start to come into brand new energy. I'm just gonna get a new love here with this Knight of Swords. I'm gonna clarify that. And three cards came out. All right, so. First and foremost, I just want to let you know that we have a double true love. I told you that this is a divine connection. So that was at the top of the deck. I'm definitely going to keep that. Sacred sexuality between you guys. This connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy. Congratulations on the wonderful sex that you guys have. <laughs> okay. Lessons of Neptune. So this person could definitely be a Pisces. Denial, illusion, and deception of self or another. Self-love boundaries and detachment are important. Um, you bring that in. You are the new person in, in this person's life. Um, and when I say new, it could be a couple of years, but you're still the new person. And then thought patterns. Um, get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. So I really do think that this person definitely came in with those soul imprints of another. And what they want to do right now is they really want to get out and have the courage to step out of that old stagnant energy and give you the love that you deserve. You earn their love fair and square. You walked into that situation, Cancer, and they fell in love with you wholeheartedly. You do not deserve the uh, another person's soul imprints and their stagnant energy. And this was really a slam dunk. They want they have taken ownership. Um, you're going to be satisfied with. The justice that you get. Remember, you got the food, the justice, and the death card. Um, I do believe that they're going to that release your ex. Look, unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritances affected this. They had old things, and your love, in essence, although it did come with a bit of struggle and strife, but nothing that is worth having, um, obviously, um, comes easy. And if you, I, I do see that this person is going to ask you to marry them. If things continue to go the way that they're going between um, you two, um, if you can survive this, I think the next um, step is marriage. And I think that that's what I'm going to name it. Um, if you guys can survive this, the next step is definitely the wedding. It's here and it's clarifying the fool. Um, I do think that you're the new love in the situation, though, Cancer, as I stated, and this is beautiful energy. I'm happy that they're going to be finding the courage that they need to lock you down because you did come in and transform them in a way. And they can't think of they, they can't imagine the day without you. They can't imagine living a day without you um, as your love continues to push them through releasing all of the, the energy of what those past people did. Let me tell you something. Um, just like that, that faith song, I love you. First time I saw your face, my heart just erased. Well, unfortunately, that sounds good in the lyric, but it doesn't work that way. It takes way more. But if a person, if it takes a couple of years, sometimes it does. It really depends on what you fell in love with and what energy. And some people... The makings of them is exactly what the last relationship was, which sucks, um, you know, but we all carry a little bit of that last relationship with us. And in order for you to let that go and release it, you have to be 
willing to do the work, but sometimes you meet the new person and some of the behaviors are very triggering and they take you right back where you're trying, where you were trying to walk away from to begin with. So you're like, damn, um, I do feel like this person is taking ownership. Um, and you're going to be extremely satisfied with the love flow. The negativity is going to leave. Those karmic wounds are going to be healed. You guys have be a beautiful, intimate relationship. This person is going to be moving to, uh, out of the denial and the delusion and the, and, and the self-sabotage that they do with the way that they think. That's beautiful. I like this for you. New love, wedding, romantic feelings, true love, release your ex in chemistry. Um, if the relationship keeps going this way, I believe the next step is definitely a wedding. Congratulations, Cancer. I like this. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope it resonated. Let me know that you claim the reading down in the comments. Let me know how this is resonating with you. This is not one of those readings. I never really talk about the these people that has uh, st stole your puppy and slapped your mama. We ain't talking about them. Um, this is a relationship that has had its ups and downs. Um, but you guys obviously love each other. The other person has not taken ownership and, um, you know, slowing down things and not taking ownership for blocking the flow of love. But this is what they're doing now. OK, so if if it keeps going this way after this transformation, if it continues to go the way that it goes, this person is going to ask you to marry them. Congratulations, guys. I will see you next week when we do it again. Bye, Cancer. Bye.